Hello! My name is Inna and today I'm going to share with you on how to get started on UDEF and get great projects. Before I dive in, let me share several words about what UTES is. So, UTES is go to destination for the people who is interested in QA job or already work as a QA tester and is looking for a freelance. It's a trusted website where you are getting paid for testing software and hardware. Also, along the way, you have a perfect opportunity to learn the new skills, refresh the old one, and of course be rewarded for the job you are doing. Personally, I joined UTES out of curiosity in September 2022 and at that time I didn't expect it will become my reliable side hustle. So now, instead of wasting my time on social media or reading the news, I do UTES, I learn new skills, I increase my expertise in numerous projects and of course earn extra money. So let me share my tips on how to start on UTES and get paid projects. Let's start from the beginning. Register on UTES. On the home page, you will see new joiner checklist of what you should do next. Let's start from the profile. On the left side panel, expand menu and select tester profile. The first page of tester profile is personal. As you can see, some fields are already pre-populated. Make sure to update languages and your proficiency level in them as based on this information you can be invited to localization test cycles. Also, it's very important to remember if you don't have some uh, information, for example, if you don't have any keys, please select the I don't have any checkbox as only in this case the algorithm will consider that this question is answered. Why am I highlighting it? Because the final goal is to complete our profile to 100%. And uh, if you don't answer the questions and didn't select the checkbox, the system will consider that your profile still has open questions. I tested on, on my profile and I reached 100% uh, completeness only after I marked all I don't have any checkboxes. And once you answered all questions on this page, save your profile. Let's continue. Next page is devices. Make sure to add not only laptop, tablet and mobile devices and their model and versions, but also other smart devices. Review all categories and questions and provide details if you have those devices or select I don't have any checkbox. And again, once completed, click on Save button. Follow this approach with all other tabs, payment testing, subscriptions and interest. Now let's set up payment method. Go to payment section and click on setup button in payment method. UTS supports two providers, Pioneer and PayPal. And based on your location, UTS automatically will suggest you the payment system that is supported in your country. In my case, it's PayPal. Once you've completed your profile and set up payment method, start taking academy courses. Many people neglect this step, thinking if they have previous experience in testing, they don't need courses. But the truth is, when you join UTES, you start from scratch. 
you have to prove your skills in order to get paid the cycles invites. So take academic courses and the more you will take them, the more invites you will receive. In my case, I started to receive around 5, sometimes even up to 10 invites per day only when I was half the way of academic courses. And in consequence, I was able to select the most beneficial projects for me. So my recommendations, take academic courses, invest the time in them. Let's check together how academy looks like. There are 27 courses and only 5 of them include practice test cycles. Each non-practice course you can complete within 15-20 minutes. Let me show you an example. Let's open the first course. As you can see, it has several sections. Each section may have video recorded and written material or it can have only written material. And at the end of the course, there's a short list that you need to pass. If you failed from the first attempt, don't worry, review the material and try again. They are really easy. Now, let's share courses that have practice test cycles. What's the difference? As an example, let me show you the course that I still need to complete and it's course number 19. As you can see, this course consists of several sections, quiz and practice test cycle. You can sign up to practice the cycle only after you pass the quiz. Based on my own experience, consider spend around 2-3 hours per each test cycle because you will need to accept one test case, one review and at least one approved defect. And these five courses are the most beneficial for your profile because they not only boost your rating, but passing them will significantly increase your chances of getting paid the cycle invites. So make sure pass academic courses number 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. In one week you can complete uh, only one course. So in best case scenario you can complete uh, all academic courses in five weeks. Once you complete your profile and start taking academic courses, you will receive invites to test cycles. Here are how it looks. Usually only overview and slot section are available for review until you accept the invite. Make sure you read the review section carefully and if you understood in scope and out scope requirements, issue reporting instructions and have matching devices and time, go ahead, claim a slot and accept the cycle invites. My personal advice, be active, because all slots are limited. So if you have time and you can commit to the project, review the invite right away, claim the slot and accept the cycle invites. But please be careful. Don't accept the invites and then not participate in them because it can negatively affect your rating. So let's continue. Once you click on Accept, you will get an access to other tabs. Check Open Defects in Issues tab or Known Issues if available. To make sure you will not create duplicated issues as they negatively will affect your rating. Once it's done, start working, do your best during the cycle, be active, try to find as many defects as possible, try to break the system. While creating a defect, follow issue reporting instruction format, aim for the two rank on tester scorecard. And who knows, maybe next time you will not be just invited, but you will be recruited. Honestly, I don't know the difference, but it looks appealing. Also, don't hesitate to ask questions in chat. Each test cycle has designated testing leads and their information and working hours are mentioned in the team contact information section on the overview page. Also, don't be frustrated if during the first test cycles you spend the time but you will not be able to find valid issues. 
If it's your case, I would highly recommend you not only review open issues in the current cycles, but also try to reproduce them. Uh, several reasons why it's important. The first one. I call it brain exercises. For example, in real life, for a long time, you are working on one project and the test techniques that you are applying on a daily basis, they are not really helpful while you are testing projects on your test. Or it could be another case, uh, saying you mostly work a web application, you mostly tested a web application, but on your test you see that there are a lot of mobile app test cycles, but you don't have much experience in it. So, go ahead and learn from others. Check other people's critical thinking and apply the approaches in next test cycles. And the second reason, each plus one for another tester's open issue will increase, slightly increase, your own rating. So, don't be lazy and do it. Let's talk about rating. When you join your test, you start from zero or unrated. But once you start participating in test cycles, your rating will change depending on the activity and quality of your performance compared to all other active rated testers within your test. Uh, there are five levels of rating on your test. Rated, proven, bronze, silver and gold. Once you reach bronze and above levels, you will receive bonuses uh, on all bar payout shown in overview. For bronze it's 2.5, for silver it's 5% and for gold it's 10%. Please note, this bonus is applied only for approved issues, not test cases. The rating is recalculated on a daily basis and it can go up or down. There are many factors that can affect your rating and if you want to learn about them, uh, please let me know in the comments, I can create a separate video for it. Let's summarize. To be successful on your test, make sure your profile is complete and up to date. Take academic courses, especially those one with practice test cycles, and be active. Pay attention to details, follow instructions, and eventually you will succeed. So, I wish you good luck and say hi to me when we meet up on the same test cycle. And as of now, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and you get the ideas of what you should do to get paid the cycle invites on your test. Also, please let me know in the comment sections if you have any other questions related to testing on your test. And for now, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and see ya!